and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is my opponent for this match. His name is Crazy Tiger. He is in the Silver League. He is 6 and 9 uh, with 22 points, ranked 74, so he is still a new player to 1v1. And we're in the game. I am the Red Terran in the East ish up against crazy tiger he is a protoss player and blue in the north um like i mentioned before he uh was six and nine so he's still kind of new uh to the whole 1v1 thing um i didn't really check to see if he had been playing in other um aspects of the game uh 2v2s 3v3s anything like that uh but he is still quite new in terms of 1v1s so i don't know if he has a full-fledged strategy for this map i can tell you though that i do now uh based on what i did last game i al i already knew what i was going to be going for and if you saw last game i won't spoil it uh but if you did you do know what i'm going to be going for here it worked so well for me almost by accident that i was i was actually able to take out um a a platinum player. I, I was so amazed when I found out that he was platinum. I was actually amazed when I found out that I won the game, that he actually hadn't done more expanding. Um, and here, contrary to what I've been saying before, I, I'm going for a second scout in a row on this map. Um, I usually like to say that I didn't go for, for scouting on this map because it was simply so long. I mean, this is a lot of mining time that I'm going to be missing here. Um, but really, I felt that the information that I gathered last time really did help uh, in my strategies in the later part of the game. So I want to get uh, scouting done again in this game, uh, but really, still not going to be able to see anything. Uh, I am going to be seeing the assimilator up. I don't see a cybernetics core or a second gateway. Uh, he really doesn't have the money for it because that assimilator is up, and uh, so I go ahead and I leave with the SCV. Going to go back to mining with him. His probe is inside my base. Uh, kind of. There we go. Now he's inside my base. Uh, he should see the Marine is popping out, and that should scare him off. But no, he's going to try to get some scouting done. I want to follow him like a hawk. Uh, if ever there's a probe in your base, you want him dead. Because if he puts up a pylon, especially in a map like this with a huge base... Um, you do not want a pylon hiding in the corner, maybe here, uh, maybe over here, over here, over here. I mean, there's so many good places for a proxy pylon inside your base. Uh, if you see one come in, you want to take him out as soon as possible. Uh, so instead, he uh, ran a pretty far away, but now he's going to start coming back. Are we going to be seeing a proxy pylon behind the smoke? No, we are not. Uh, Cybernetics Core is out, a uh, couple Zealots are out as well, second gateway coming up, still not really saturating the gas, uh, so I definitely have a lead in the gas. There we go, he just saturated it right there, and he is watching, um, the, uh, the automaton apparently, he wants that thing dead, and down it goes, his wish is his probe's command, and he takes out the little robot. Thing that's on this map. I don't know what to call it. It's called an Automaton 2000. That's all I got. So we are going to be seeing three racks again from me um, because really it is a very strong build and it has served me so well uh, that you know I, I've pretty much ridden this build all the way up to silver and I'm doing very well in silver with it. I, I will not lie. I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. I believe I am ranked 12th. At least that's what I was ranked when I left um, last time that I played. When I you know ended playing for the night, and of course that does tend to change um, if if you're away for a few days. And I have been. Uh, so who knows what I'm ranked now? Pro but last time I checked, I was I was 12th in my silver um, in my silver ladder, which I know. A lot of you are gonna say, "Wow, you got you're such a noob," and I'm like, "Yeah, I I never claim to be the best player in the world." Uh, and if you need more for the proof of that, there you go. Uh, 24 average APM on this game so far. 
warp gate technology is almost done. It didn't look like he was chrono boosting that. He's actually a little bit behind on his chrono boosting because he's looks like he's microing this 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 probe over here. And uh, as usual, I am queued up a huge production tab. Um, I am getting uh, pretty much everything in the book. I am getting stim pack, concussive shells. Once that concussive shells is done, I should be going for uh, the combat shield, but I might go for the infantry weapons level one. Who's to say? I do go for the weapons one instead of the combat shield. Uh, I'm, I I'm pretty uh, back and forth on which one I want to go for first in this build, uh, but I, I do think that the the weapons upgrade level one is uh, more important because it I think because it does affect the Marauders as well, whereas the combat shield is exclusive to the Marines, and so I'm pretty much going to stick with that. So I'm going for a push here uh, because I do have the three wrecks out, and that is a build that does require some early aggression if you are to maintain that. Um, he is going for four gates into a robo. He is researching love, um, the, the weapons level one upgrade at his forge. He does have a twilight cancel up, but he has not decided uh, charge or blink yet. Um, really, if, you, if you're going to be getting the twilight cancel, I would suggest getting something uh, out of that immediately. Otherwise, you're really just wasting uh, materials there. And he moves out, uh, so he's pretty much forfeited the high ground. He's only got one sentry out. That is not going to be enough for uh, to block me out with force fields. So he goes for the garden shield, and I quickly take those guys out. And even though I won't be able to clean this up because he does... Uh, keep warping in units. I should no. I don't have a lead in the. Oh no, I do have the lead in the units lost count. I was blue last game. Uh, should be keeping track of that better. Uh, but I am gonna use this opportunity to go for a text, which I do have a factory on the way. And oh, what's this? Proxy pylon is going down. Um, and probe gonna gonna die there's really no other way to put it he he did not get any scouting done and i go what the hell was that noise so i start to notice hey there's a pylon i i should go take that out so i am going to be taking that out eventually but apparently not right now meanwhile his um robo facility is up he started researching i believe that's yes that's just armor um Armor level weapons, uh, armor level one, and I am getting the combat shield as well as uh, the armor level one. So we should be pretty even in terms of uh, upgrades here, and a pylon going on outside the base. We are both pretty much going for the expansion about the same time. Mine will of course finish first. Uh, now I go to take out that proxy pylon. Uh, I do not want it in my base. He did not even get a chance to use it. Um, Immortal is out. Oh, I hate Immortals. Um, really, immor Immortals are the reason that uh, you need to switch uh, some some tactics with your Marines and Marauders. If you guys play as Terran and you're up against a Zerg player, you want to put your Marauders out in front due to banelings. But if you're um, playing a Protoss player, you should probably put your Marines out in front in case of Immortals. It's crazy. Um, but then again, if he has Colossus out, uh, then really it doesn't matter because it's going to splash damage everything all the time. Anyways, I do have a Missile Turret out up front uh, just in case Dark Templars start coming in. Don't have them around the back of my base. I really should because it is way past that time when the air harassment should start. And speaking of which, my starport is up. Reactor is on the way. We should be seeing dropships from me. That is the plan that I wanted to go for. Um, I, I did send... Uh, the guys out to the front of his base uh, to, to see what he was g doing, more of a scouting um, than anything else. And he does have the robotics bay up, so we should be seeing Colossus coming out of him. Um, but I don't see it yet. It looks like he's 
Well, it doesn't look like he has enough minerals or gas to support the Colossus yet. Uh, so he is getting an Observer instead. He is going to try to get his expansion up and running. Mine is pretty up and running now. Um, I do need a second uh, gas, and I do need to fully saturate my first gas. But really, it's uh, not even close in terms of the Harvester count. I am pulled far ahead. So here my first siege tank is out, and uh, so are my first two medevacs, so I quickly load them up. Um, and I am going to be going for a medevac drop around the back, because there is so much room back here. That it's, it's, it's way too tempting to pass up. Um, and his first colossus is on the way. 